G'day! Rubber Kitty here. <laughs> recording. Recording and recording. Um, wi Fi at South Bank's a bit spotty at the moment, I think because of the weather. It's a bit rainy, so that's why it's still dark, even though it's not as early as I am used to. And um, yeah, I was thinking about some things like when a lot of people, and I talked to a few people online, um, particularly with the like relationships and BDSM and stuff like that, when people always go on about why do I always attract these types, types of people that I don't really want or they're so deceptive or something like that. And I'm like thinking, yeah, why are they all attracted to you? But then also, why are you attracted to them as well? Um, you got to think about that. It's a two-way street because uh, that's what relationships are, two ways, you know, give and take. And some people take more than others. <laughs> hey, Misty! morning and um yeah two-way street um and if you you're not really into those people then why do you why are you surrounded by them i know i don't know that's a pretty big mystery um i have changed quite a few sets of friends because there was a point where I, I sort of looked around and saw where a lot of this was going and i was like you know what i don't want to be like that <laughs> So I upstakes and I, and I moved. I think I've moved quite a few whole sets of friends and started up with whole new friends. And some of the old friends uh, I still have, but only a couple, a handful. Um, and I guess that's the thing when you you got to take a stop and look around when you say, okay, why do I have all these people in my life? that I don't really want or make my life more frustrating uh, and what am I doing um, what is it about me that attracts them what is it about them that attracts me and um, I guess kind of think about you know uh, changing a few things and come to realization of you know even if there's things that attracts them to you and it's an essential part of you um, that you go well look that's not something that I I'm wanting to change because that's a part of me um, that's an essence of who I am so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my reaction and I'm gonna think about you know why what about them attracts me to them and think do I really want that in my life do I really need that in my life and then going well no I don't <laughs> <laughs> taking actions to stop that but that's the thing though it's there's something there that would attract you to them in the first place something that you you have hope for and hope is an awesome thing it's a powerful thing and we should all have that um, it keeps us um, striving and wanting more it keeps us dreaming it keeps us striving for those dreams so what what is it about some people like if you're in a not so good relationship or even if you are in a good relationship just think about what is it about this person not just, not necessarily an intimate relationship but you know just like friends and family and says okay well what is it about these people that I like uh, what is it about these people that you know I don't like or like less and is it something that frustrates me enough to do something about it? And if so, what am I going to do about it? What's, what's the angle here? <laughs> and it's all about sort of coming to realization that if you're doing something, the same thing over and over again, just change something. It doesn't have to be massive. It can just be a small thing. And really, if it's the same thing over and over again with different people, different situations, you've got to think, is it something that you do out of habit or instinctually or something that you project and, and how is that perceived. It's not to victim blame, it's not to say it's all your fault, it's just sometimes being you, um, you know, being you is not always easy, um, particularly when you don't always know who you are, you are as a person. So 
finding that and thinking, no, you know what, this is me and I'm not going to change that or this is me, I'm not going to change that but I can change the way I present myself or I'll be more cautious about the way I present myself to these types of people when something happens um, can make all the difference. So being you, thinking about, and it's lovely rain out here, um, thinking about, you know, what is it that you find attractive in a person, um, and again, not just a romantic or intimate thing, but also intellectually, spiritually, emotionally, um, and think about what it is that you can do to enhance that, or if they're the type of people that you go, you know what, every time they come into my life, these types of people, um, drama happens and I don't want that, or you want less drama. So think about that. And apparently it's going to clear up today, but it's still very overcast. There's lots of clouds in the background there. See, lots of clouds. Anyway, hey Bjorn, Misty, I'll be back. <laughs> don't worry, I'm getting the Wi-Fi back up. It's a free Wi-Fi here at South Bank. Anyway, think about that. The people that you attract can cause a lot of drama in your life. Some of it is um, welcomed because it does make life exciting. Uh, some of it not so good. Um, and think about why that is. It's not just you. It could just be them. A bit of both. Anyways, life, love, live it. <laughs> I do it in latex. <laughs> See you guys.